taking just a few more moments to settle in. Noticing your breathing, dropping into the mind that lies within the body, embodied awareness. So we're gonna go ahead and get started now. Please have a mat, perhaps some water, and I'm sitting on my block. If you wanna have a block and take that to the front of the mat, that's great. So we're gonna do a 55 minute power flow today. We're definitely gonna move. We're definitely gonna sweat a little bit, strengthen and build some flexibility within the body. So listen to your body. Um, feel free to modify up or down at any point during the practice, make this your own practice. So we're gonna start today in child's pose, just softening into the mats, relaxing through your hips, relaxing through your forehead. Just imagine that if there was a waterfall above you, that the water would just roll off of you, just onto your mat and let your mind follow that. Then shift forward up into a tabletop. Here, stacking the shoulders over top of the wrists. And uh, before I forget, there's a playlist in the description. Um, if you wanna put that playlist on, I believe it's well-timed for the class, okay? So we're just gonna do brief warm-up series here. So just take any circular motions just to warm up the wrists and the hips real quick here. Just any circular motions that feel good for you in your body, just take some intuitive movements before we really get into the structure of the flow. All right. And then come to a neutral spot here. Reach your right hand and your left foot up. And then I want you to take your left knee to your left shoulder, and send it back. Take your right hand all the way back to your right side and then back and then up front. Now inhale and exhale, bring that knee up, take your right hand back. Inhale, extend, exhale, whip them around. Let's do one more. Inhale, reach, and exhale, draw them in. Good, lower it down, sway the shoulders side to side. And let's do the other side. So take your right foot up and your left hand out long. Take your right knee to your right shoulder and send it back. Take your left hand along your side and send it back. Good, inhale, exhale, draw them in and inhale, reach. Let's do two more. Exhale, whip them in and then send them out. Good, last one. Perfect. Coming to that tabletop here, tuck your toes, hover your knees three inches for one, two, three, press your hips up high, down dog. You're pressing your hips down, pedaling out your dog, settling in. Good, look forward, walk or step the feet up, halfway lift, flat back. And then with an exhale, fold, sway a bit here. And then roots rise, roll up your spine. 
Draw the navel inwards, circle the arms up. Take the hands to the heart here. Stand squarely on the feet, drawing the shoulders back and breathe. Bring an intention to mind for your practice today, for the rest of today and the rest of your week. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Halfway lift. And then step your right foot back. Inhale. Step your left foot back. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, shift forward, broaden the collar. Your knees can be down or they can be up. And exhale, press the down dog. Pause here for three breaths. And with an inhale, no leg lift, your right foot comes. Tell your left foot and fold. Inhale, roots rise, get your arms up high. And exhale, hands to the heart. Left side, inhale up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, steps your left foot back, low lunge. Right foot, exhale, lower down, hug your elbows in. Shift forward and press back. Pushing your hips up high into that mountain peak shape. No leg lift, inhale, left foot up. Exhale, right foot in full. Inhale, roots arise. Exhale, hands to the heart. That was round one. We'll do two more rounds. Inhale up. And swan dive down. Inhale your right foot back. And exhale your left foot and fold. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale your right foot forward. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, Samastiti. Left side, full extension. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot. Right foot. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Inhale, broaden the collar. Exhale, press your hips back. Long lines from your tailbone to your toes, from your tail to your feet. And look up, left foot up. Exhale, right foot. Roots arise. Exhale to your heart. Round three, inhale up. And fold. Right foot back. Left foot, and exhale down. Inhale. And press your hips up. Feeling the connection between your palms and the soles of your feet to your mat. Good. Inhale your right foot up. Exhale your left foot and fold. Inhale, roots arise. Exhale to your heart. Inhale, reach them up. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, left foot back. Right foot back and lower. Breathing in. And pressing back. Nice work. From here, let's do a balance challenge. So I want you to hover your left foot up and then float your right hand. See how high you can get them. Just discovering where your balance is today. Maybe you're tapping on the mat. Perfect. Now let's switch that up here. Float your right foot in your left hand. Find your balance. Good. Lower it down. Bend the knees. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, walk, step, or float. Find a halfway lift and a fold. Good. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale up. Exhale, folding Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Plant your hands, bend your knees, press and float or step. Vinyasa. Hang out here in down dog for a moment. down dog. Let's inhale forward to plank pose. And then let's exhale, press back to down dog. Get those hips high. You can have a slight bend in the knees to lengthen the spine. Good. And then shift forward. And press back to down dog. Shifting forward to plank. This time when you press back to down dog, take your right hand to your right shin. And then when you shift forward to plank, reach your right hand forward, three-limbed plank. Good. One more time. Press back. Take your right hand to your right leg. And then reach forward. Extend that arm out. Good. Lower the right hand down. Press back to down dog. Take your left hand back to your left leg. And then shift forward. Extend that left hand long. You got this. And exhale. Press back. Good. One more time, shifting forward and reaching. And then lower it down. This time, press back to down dog. Take your right hand to your left shin for a twist here. Finding that mountain peak shape, gazing under your armpit. And let's come forward to plank. Take a deep breath in. And press back to down dog. Take your left hand to your right shin. Straighten through the legs and the arm. Good. Bend your knees. Inhale. Exhale. Walk, step, or float up to the top. Halfway lift. And fold. Sit back into a chair pose. Inhale, sit a bit deeper, and then straighten your legs and fold. Good. Go ahead, step back to a plank pose. We're going to lower down all the way down very slowly. Let's take a deep breath and then exhale, take it all the way down real slow. Good. Shalom, Shambhasana. Inhale, hover your hands up. Hover the feet up for locust pose. Get them high, get them high. Inhale. And then exhale, press the hands down, press the feet down. Tuck your tailbone. Pull your chest forward. And exhale, take one cheek to the mat. Take a breath. Good. And then inhale, hover everything up. Hover the hands, hover the feet. 
Get them high. And then exhale, engage your core, press down, peel your chest up. Squeezing the core tight. And lower down the opposite cheek to the mat. Good, now point your hands to your side, your toes, now float them up. Float them up, float them up. Reach your arms out along to your sides, extend long through the fingers and rock side to side. Flying through the sky. Good, stack your palms underneath of your forehead and wag your heels. Just left and right, releasing the low back. Good. Now oh, hands under shoulders, press back to a child's pose. You can always come back here at any point in time during the practice, okay? Shift forward to cobra, tuck your toes, and find a down dog. Bend your knees, look up, press and flow. Halfway lift and fold. Full extension, bring your hands together overhead. You can interlace your thumbs. Inhale, reach them up. Exhale, take them to your left, hips to your right. Inhale to center. Exhale, hands to your right, hips to your left. Inhale, center. Exhale, cactus, draw the elbows down and the chest up. Good, inhale one more time. And exhale, cactus, tilt the chin up. Good, inhale. We're gonna come into a chair pose here. Find your Utkatasana, that thunderbolt shape. All right, inhale. Exhale, fold and sweep the arms. Inhale, come up to chair pose, bending the knees. Exhale, straighten the legs and fold, sweep the arms. Good, inhale, chair. Exhale, Utkatasana. Let's do three more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, chair pose. And then exhale to fold. Good, halfway lift. Take your hands down, plant them, press and flow back. Down dog or vinyasa. And we'll, we'll flow through us in Salutation B variation. So inhale your right foot up. Exhale, take your knee to your nose. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Take your knee to your left arm, to your right arm, to your left arm, to your right arm, and inhale it up. And then step it forward. Rise to warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, ride the breath down through your flow. Left foot rises. Exhale to your nose. Inhale, set it high. Exhale, bring it forward. Take your knee to your left arm, to your right arm, to the left to the right, and then inhale it up on high. Step forward, prepare, and warrior one. Finding your alignment. Inhale, reach on up high. Ride that exhale through your flow. Take three breaths here. Staying active, expanding through the joints. And 
And then bend your knees, inhale, gaze up. Press and float, halfway lift and fold. Good, roots arise. Good chair pose. From your chair here, get up high on your tippy toes. Sit the hips back higher. Find your balance. <sighs> Extend long through the fingers. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, straighten the legs and fold. Halfway lift. Press and flow. Meeting me in down dog. Good. Inhale your right foot up. Exhale your knee to your nose. Inhale it high. Exhale to your right elbow. Inhale it up. We're going to go for fallen triangle. Exhale to your left elbow. Send that leg long. Stack the arms. Reach up. You got this. Feel into your balance and your power. And ground the hand. Inhale it up. And step it forward. Warrior one. Open up to warrior two. Widen your stance a bit. Keep that knee over the front ankle. Then shift forward for a side angle. Top arm starts long by the ear. Then you wrap it around the back for a bind. Taking the, the bind of your choice here. And spin the arms open, warrior two. Come through to reverse warrior, gazing up. Big breath in. And then cartwheel the arms down. Ride the breath through your flow. There's a stick under my mat. <laughs> Left side, inhale the foot up, exhale, left knee to your nose, inhale, three-legged, exhale, left elbow, inhale, big breath in, we're going to go to fallen triangle on the right side, take it to your right elbow, straighten it out, stack the shoulders, press the hips up high. Awesome work, yoga friends. Ground the hands, send the leg up, breathe, and step it forward. Warrior one. And let's open up to warrior two. Get nice and long, extending. Shift forward, side angle. Really get that long and strong diagonal line. And then take your arm back for a bind. Good, windmill the arms open, warrior two. Flip it, scoop it, and reverse it, reverse, reverse. Breathe. And exhale as we lower down. From down dog here, let's take a few leapfrog hops. 
All right, so we're going to bend the knees, look up, press, and shift the weight forward. You don't have to go all the way up. Just work on getting some hang time. All right. Very good. Now we'll take it to the top of the mat. So bend the knees, look up, and then stop at the top. And fold. Roots, let's take the arms up. And exhale, hands to the heart. Take a breath. Let's sweep into a chair. Get up high on those toes. Sit a bit deeper. Inhale. Exhale, straighten out and fold. Halfway lift or prepare. Plant the hands, press and flow. Inhale your right foot up. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Square your shoulders down and bring that knee up. Then step it forward. Warrior one. Now we're going to pivot and turn to warrior two here. So straighten the leg, warrior two, face the back of your mat. Straighten that front leg, reach forward, hinge into triangle. Now in triangle, I'm going to press your front heel down and send that line of energy up into the pelvis and down to your back heel. Build that triangular stance. All right. And then reverse warrior, bending into the knee, reaching the arm up. Good, now we're gonna shift our weight forward and go into half moon, okay? So take a breath, exhale, fly. Then we're gonna float it back. Reverse again. And then with an exhale, frame your foot down dog or vinyasa. Left side, left foot rises. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Get it high, get it high. Inhale and step it up. Warrior one. Then pivot and turn, Virabhadrasana B facing in the front of your mat. Straighten that front leg, reach cock and tilt the pelvis, Trikonasana. Build your foundation, expand the torso, and breathe. Then bend the knee, reverse the palm. We're going to shift into that half moon shape again. So take your weight forward. Maybe you take it in steps. Option to use that block as well. Good, float it back, reverse. Exhale, take it down. And let's go right into the next series here. So inhale your right foot up, bend the knee, stack the hip, option to take a flip. Take the feet parallel, get your hips up high, reach back. And if you can see me, just give me a high five, all right? On three, one, two, three. Flip that palm around. Big step up to the top of the mat with your right foot. Rise up into warrior one and open to warrior two. Good. Shift forward for side angle. Send your bottom arm up in line with your top arm for power. 
And take your top hand down, spin to your right. Low lunge twist. Big step back with that front foot, Vashistasana on the left side. Then we're gonna come through plank to rock to Vashi on the right. And take your top foot to the inside thigh or any other variation here. If you wanna give it a try, balancing without vision, close the eyes here for three seconds. Good, and take it down. Moving through to down dog. Left foot rises, you stack the hip, prepare, and take a flip. I'm gonna crab walk around again so I can see you guys here. Let the head hang back. Let's go for a nice loud communal high five. All right, on three, one, two, Three, yeah, take a big breath in and then take that step around to the top. Rise on up Virabhadrasana A, open up to B, and then you shift forward, side angle. Send that bottom arm up. Engage through your core, feel the strength in your legs. Inhale, with an exhale, twist to your left. Long through the shoulders and the arms. Knit your ribs in, gaze up and breathe. And take a big step back with that top foot. Ooh. Find it, and then we're gonna rock to the left. You wanna go for that flag pose. Get your hips up high, find that arch shape. And if you're steady here, go ahead and play around with closing the eyes. Good, take it back through plank. Lowering down, shining the heart, and pressing the hips back. Good. Let's take two breaths together. Breathe in, and side out. Deep inhale, and let it all go. Good. Inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward in yoga and in life. Press and flow. Halfway lift, and fold. Good, roots arise, take the arms up, and then bring your hands to your heart. Whew. The sun's a little hot out here. I like it, it's good. It's a wonderful time of year. Let's go into the next series. Inhale the arms up, exhale fold. Halfway lift, plant the hands, press and float, down dog. Inhale your right foot up. Now we're gonna fly here. So take your knee to your right elbow and you can hold it there or you can take your, uh, your thigh as far up on the tricep as possible. Take your elbows down to your chest and fly forward. Lower that foot, inhale your right foot back, three-legged dog. Props to you guys for giving that one a shot. And step your right foot up. Let's open up to high lunge. So keep your back heel high, take the arms up. Good, inhale, exhale, lean and sweep the arms. Inhale up. Exhale, lean and sweep. Inhale up. This time we're going to go to warrior three. Shift your weight forward. Find those parallel lines to the ground. 
And then we're going to open up to Warrior Two. All right. Straighten your oh. Sorry, we're going to go to a side angle first here. We're going to move through to Bird of Paradise. So take your top arm behind your back. And you can hang out anywhere along the journey. If you want to flow with me, wrap your arms underneath your thigh. Step that back foot up. Shift your weight. And raise the right leg up. And breathe. Good. Lower that right foot down. Step back. Warrior two. Straighten your legs, straighten your arms. Bring the hands together up overhead. We're gonna move through rever uh, crescent lunge here. So inhale, exhale, twist to your right. Hook your elbow outside the thigh. Drive that back leg long. Press the palms to the heart. Good. Now step up your back foot to meet your front foot. Keep your knees in line, prayer twist. Stay here or flow with me through side crow. So we'll take the take the arms down. You want to bring that right thigh, the hip and the knee to your arms, to your elbows. And then shift the weight forward. You can use your head as a kickstand. You can float that top leg up. Whatever works for you here. And then take it back. Now, Bakasana Crow pose at the front of the mat. All right. Find it, find it, inhale, exhale, shoot back, down dog or vinyasa. And let's do the left side, inhale that left foot up on high. Exhale, take it forward, take that thigh all the way up on top of the tricep, bring the elbows into your core and shift your weight forward. Good, float it back, three-legged, and then step on up. Keep that back heel high as we rise into Anjaniyasana, Crescent Warrior. This is a pose of strength and balance. So find your power, find your equilibrium. Take a breath in and then a breath out as you sweep the arms back. Inhale, take them high. Exhale, lean and sweep. Take them high, and this time we're going to shift forward and fly. And float it back to warrior two. And side angle. We're going to move through Bird of Paradise. So go for that full bind. Step your back leg up, get the hold real nice and tight, and rise up. Lower it down, step back, and open up. <laughs> Straighten everything up, take the hands together, gaze up, inhale. Exhale, twist to your left, revolve, press, and lunge. Draw your top shoulder back, drive your bottom ribs through, and squeeze your core. Step your back leg up to meet your front leg, prayer twist. And then take the hands off to the side. If you want to float through side crow, go for it. And then take it back. We're going to come from crow to a tripod headstand. If you want to give that one a shot as well. Wrapping the knees around the elbows, take them up. Bring the head down, slowly, slowly. And then take your knees on top of your elbows. Only do this if this feels okay on your neck. So if you feel any issues in the neck, just come down. 
right, if you want to play around with taking one leg up, then another, go for it. Let's see if you can gently shift back to crow and shoot back. Yeah, and take a vinyasa. Take a big breath in with me and side out. Good. Sway the head a bit in your down dog here. Sway it side to side. Bend the knees, inhale, gaze up, press and flow. Let's find a halfway lift. Let's find an exhale here. Let's take ragdoll. Take hold of opposite elbows, tilt the tailbone up high, bending the knees. Sway a bit side to side. And roots rise. Take the arms all the way up. And take your hands to your heart. Let's move through uh, Guru Dasana. So take your arms wide. Wrap your right arm underneath of your left arm. Wrap the hands together. And step your left leg over top of your right leg, bending into the standing leg. Those toes can wrap around the shin or they can point into the mat. Sit up tall and breathe. Keep the arms. Send your left leg back, warrior one feet. All right, take it proud first. Tilt your chest up, inhale. Then release your arms. Interlace your hands behind you. And shift forward, humble warrior. That front shoulder can come inside of or rest on top of the front thigh. Good, release the arms to frame your front foot. Let's lean back and straighten that front leg, half Hanumanasana, hinging forward over this leg here. Straighten through the back, long spine, curl your toes up and fold. And then let's shift forward here, get your hips forward, plant the left hand down, reach your right hand around, bend the knee, grab the foot. Opening through the chest, letting the hips slide open. Good. Come to a low lunge, straighten your back leg. Inhale. Exhale, step your back foot up to a fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, let's take Padagustasana. Take your big fingers around your big toes. Draw down with the biceps, tilting the tailbone up, slight bend in the knees and sway the head. Take the head from side to side, front to back. Good, release that, roll up the spine, stack the vertebrae in place. Take your arms out wide. And Left arm underneath of your right arm for Guru Dasana. And step the right leg over top of the left leg. All right, find the variation that works well for you. Breathe. Then take your top leg back, step back, keep the arms, or your one leg feet. Reach the chest up, point the chest up, inhale. Release your arms, take hold of a bind. Take the opposite bind with the opposite thumb on top and draw your shoulder blades together, gaze up. And lean and shift forward, humble warrior. And release the hands to frame the feet. Lower your back knee and 
Lift your hips back, Hanumanasana. If you want to really take the legs open wide and come into a, a full split, you can do that as well. And then shift the hips forward. Take your left hand up, around, and back. Opening up. Send the belly forward, send the hips forward. Broaden the collar with every breath. Good, release the leg, frame the foot with your hands. Inhale, exhale, step your back foot up to your front foot and fold. Root to rise, take it all the way up, all the way up. And let's find a tree pose here, firmly on your right foot. Take your left foot to the ankle, calf or thigh. Just find your balance here. Find a place of stillness. Good, lower down. Let's take three on the left foot. Finding some ease and stability. And let's lower it down. Reach the arms out, come up onto your tippy toes. We're going to lower down super slowly, taking the hips to the heels. Good. Reach forward, take your hips back. Roll back, roll back. And press right up into a bridge pose. And press your hips up high. You can interlace your hands, roll over top of your shoulders. Release the hands and the arms, roll down the spine. Breathe. And then press up into round two. Get your belly up to the sky and the chest to the wall behind you. Keep those knees over top of your ankles. Yes, nice. And then release and lower down. Now let's rise up into either a bridge or a wheel. If you want to take the hands next to the ears, set up and rise up. And when you're ready, tuck the chin. Come down to your shoulders, rock your knees, build wipers. Now, if there's any other here before we move through, go ahead and take that. So, I'm going to flow through a shoulder stand here and just hold this for about five breaths. You want to take the feet back for plow pose or take the knees around the ears for death man's pose go for it just keep that low back supported enjoy the stretch and as you're ready lower down vertebrae by vertebrae let's take fish pose so extend long through the toes take the hands underneath of the seat draw your elbows in press the chest up Matsuyasana. Good. Now lower down the chest, bring the knees in.
center. Give him a squeeze. And then let him rock to the left, gaze to your right. Take three more full inhales and smooth Ujjayi exhales. Good, take your knees back into center. Let's take a closing happy baby, taking hold of the soles of the feet and rocking back and forth or side to side. And then take everything in, gently lift the head and the tailbone. And then lower it all down, reach out nice and long. If you want to uh, dim the lights or find uh, some Shavasana, go ahead. Take any movements that your body is asking for and then come to stillness. taking the next few minutes to relax into a meditative state of mind, a meditation on this moment, feeling the effects of your yoga practice. Simply noticing whenever thoughts may arise and directing the mind gently back to the body and back to your breath. Staying at ease, begin to take the breath deeper 
expanding the lungs and exhaling smoothly. Really breathe in in three dimensions into the belly, the chest, and up to the shoulders. And slowly let it go. Take one last really full inhale. And long exhale. Good. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Rocking on the heels. Take some broader movements and reach the arms up overhead, pointing from fingers to toes. Inhale and exhale. You bring the knees in, wrap your arms around your shins. Feeling that appreciation for coming to the yoga mat once again. And back over to one side or smoothly rock up to a seated pose. Taking just a few moments to notice how your experience has perhaps shifted since when you began the practice. And let's take just three more breaths to close. Breathing in and out. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Now take the deepest inhale yet today and let it all go. Bring the hands to the heart. Thank you for, for tuning in, for showing up for yoga and for moving and breathing with me today. Namaste, yoga friends. It's been wonderful doing yoga out here in the sun. It's a natural studio. Thank you, Krista. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much for tuning in again. We'll be back next week at 10 and 10, Wednesday and Thursday.